Hello and welcome to the Signs of Mass Effect Andromeda. We're still here on EOS sorting out things, although at the moment there's not much for us to sort out, except for the uh, shock therapy. If we can actually hit there because. Seems to be still quite some radiation out and about at the moment. But at Monolith is definitely a place we can go. Radiation within safe levels. Detecting above normal radiation levels. This area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Uh, aluminium. We've got targets! Nah, who cares? Um... How do I get up there, though? From the other side. Right. I'm still not sure why I don't hear any engine noises. I think something's wrong with my sound here. Radiation levels normal. There, so. Oh, no sign of that work crew, but someone left their gear behind. before they get themselves killed. Uh, let's hope that they'll be grateful to be found. Time limits. 
teaching you. Um, let me guess, can I force travel to there? I can. Great timing. Thanks for the assist. Your experiment with the remnant didn't work out. Huh. Okay, who squealed? Gasperick? Yeah, I bet. These remnant could plow our fields, protect us from the cat. You control them, why shouldn't we? How many people need to get hurt before you stop this? Pathfinder's got a point, Jennings. Ah, fine. But you can't protect us all the time, Pathfinder. Out here, we need every edge we can get. The points, but I don't see why I think shooting robots could plow fuels for you. Also, I haven't seen any fuels yet to plow. So I think now we leave this container and then it's time to quickly drop by the Nexus, do a couple of things you can do there and then we'll head out to find the next uh, potentially habitable world. Great timing. Thanks for the assist. Come on, I guess. Um. They're still too radioactive, so let's um no, let's fast drop to there. Nexus, do the interview with the lady. Eos will have holidays, once we figure out the seasons. Eos feels more like a home, but it's still mostly hard work. <gasps> Ascent is go.
All systems green. Good. Gil, O'Connell and Serena spent months getting our systems coordinated. You can't just strip and redesign those connections on the fly. Gil, I know you can hear me. The whole ship can hear you. I'm just not listening. You're fighting again? I'm thinking the same, believe me. What can I do for you? Shut. Sure. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Can I go talk to Gil about this? Pathfinder, you have new email. Your outpost. Finally. Prodromus better be worth all that time Ryder put into it. If they fail, the Nexus starves. No pressure, right? So everything we do now relies on civilians planting vegetables. Uh, how else do you think you were going to set up a thriving space colony, Kara? Any luck stabilizing the temperature and storage? You mean your dorm room? It's habitable. Good enough. Should grab a pod. Independent environmental controls. Hey, Ryder. What's the story? Ah, good. We can talk about this. Out with it already. What's the deal with you and Callow? Anything I should be concerned about? Uh, twist my arm, why don't you? It, it's contrasting styles more than anything. He's a blueprint guy. I'm gears and guts. Got ink on his digits, not grease, up to his elbows. If you didn't have me to balance him out, you might be in trouble. <sighs> Heck, maybe that goes both ways. Well, it's very mature of you to realize that, but, you know, also, you're tinkering with Kalos, baby. Maybe. Good talking to you, Gil. Kinda Anytime. Be aware of that. Also, as a leader, why am I not kind of saying anything, you know? Good that I can hear Gil out, but... I like the option to kind of... Have them actually talk and work this out. Hey, uh, what's shaking? Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. All right, so uh, let's have a look at my tasks, plant samples, and that's it. Just look, can't do it. Yet. Apparently, it's still open, so I'm guessing. Unless it's a bug. Um, mm -hmm. Carry and Edison's, yeah, okay. be cool. Uh, craft, draft, pathfinder, chest piece, that's a thing I can do. And apart from that, who triggers it and holds? It's gonna be there, yes. Show kiosk. Uh, so salvage. So research weapons adaptations. I've got you. That sounds pretty cool. Let's also research the magic arms. Seven armor. Yeah, no. The suit was worn by Father Alec Ryder, but I still have to research the blueprints. It, it, it.
these things you can Lots. Shows you up some of the research data. He's got a look score. Okay, let's develop. Uh, particularly, I want to develop the Pathfinder chests. I need plus num. Okay. Just got just by it, but. Dr. Aradonna informed us of. There are no life readings within. If you want to know. Ship Eudoxus. Uh, again, with Greek names. Oh, read that task. Sad. Deadly from my period. Interesting. Vinland's. Ah. Interesting. 
interesting name. Uh, Vinland is uh, the name the Vikings gave to uh, North America. As you might know, the Vikings uh, reached North America. It's been confirmed they found the settlement in I'm picking up something. Uh, Canada, anyway. I think it's now Newfoundland. Um, Anyway, yeah, the Vikings reached Greenland, and then from there they also We've got a crater. proceeded to uh, to North America, to Canada, or what we now call Canada, and they had a colony there for a decade or two. Eventually it failed. Due to a variety of reasons, including conflict with the, the local um, indigenous uh, people. Um, yeah, they called... Uh, that, that's a new country they found, Vinland. Some, I'm not quite sure if it's quite settled, whether it means like Vineland or, or whether other reasons for calling it that way. But it's interesting that all these other planets have like proper names. But top detected. seven is with that seven. Hello, that name for the first landing of human explorer life. Ericsson, the one who uh, first reached North America. From Probes launched. Uh, Tracking a huge Europe. mineral deposit. Kind of wanted to say discovered, but that's always a bit. Yeah, the discovered is always from the point of view of, 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 you know, from point of view of you, because, I mean, there were already people living there, so they didn't think anything they were living on needed to be discovered. Right, but you should be the first European to, to reach there ever since, um, humans crossed the, the land bridge. Across Bering Straits into North America. Make way, make way, important pathfinder business. Not at least to fix the hack. Hey, what's going on? That's your new galaxy. 
making speeches about some fresh start while your kids stay frozen. And it's all thanks to your Pathfinder. Excuse me? We've waited months for our families to come out of stasis. They should have gone to your outpost. But since you think research is so important, military personnel got bumped down the list, like my clan brothers. All the reassignments mean they're in 10 different colony blocks now. And my mother just got caught in the middle. Um... So let's make a choice which seems reasonable, but it was reasonable they're upset. Um, I didn't expect this kind of makes me sound incompetent. But I find it didn't have to make a choice kind of too hard. Also, you know, why are we breaking up families at the... Uh, I founded the outpost. I didn't decide who would stay in stasis. You don't care that you've torn families apart? That's not what I said. Maybe you could still make this right. I just want mom out of stasis. That's all anyone here wants. You do stasis revivals. You can tell our leaders you're opening those pods. Today. I authorize whole colony blocks or a few emergency revivals. I can't wake dozens of random people. We don't care whose finger pushes the button. If you can't, our leaders can. And if you tell them, they will. Um, we can't just go waking up random people, but we certainly can talk about how they're being assigned and not tearing families apart. Okay. I'll talk to the leadership about what we can do. 14 months of promises. It's time for some results. We tried petitioning Addison. She ignored us. Screw her. Start with Kandros. He sent those 10 soldiers over there. Maybe he'll take us seriously. Make them hear. Make them know. Any word? Looks like someone is seriously just messed up the order of waking people up. Construction and repairs continue on various parts of the Nexus. Authorities have no word on completion and remind visitors to avoid affected areas. This is HNS. So, so chat with Kendros. Glad to see you finally. I hear you've been busy out there. That's one word for it. If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. I need to talk to you about stasis revival and those protesters in hydroponics. I see. Maybe I should get the others for this. Or maybe we can chat first. Hydroponics. They want their families out of stasis. The outpost on EOS disrupted the schedule. They're scattered across colony blocks, dozens of people. The protesters want this fixed today. The realities of our position are... We can't wake those families. We don't have the resources and there's nowhere to put them. I mean, it's true. But we can, like, group them. We only just got on our feet. Plus, it messes up the schedule again. What do you suggest? Leave the families in stasis where it's safe and get those protesters out of hydroponics. They seem sympathetic, but so did the exiles. We can't risk another revolt. Survival is more important than family reunions. What would you do with the protesters? I'd send in a squad and march them out. At gunpoint, if we must. If they yeah, that would caution right, you right. But it's better than losing hydroponics or the Nexus. Do you think these protests could turn violent? We're all pioneers. Even civilians are tough enough to start something. And interfering in hydroponics threatens our oxygen supply. They know that. 
Prisons own oxygen supply too. These people aren't the enemy. We didn't come all this way to rip families apart. We'll manage the resource squeeze somehow. Your compassion is admirable, but... Guess we're all tightening our belts. You can run a stasis override command from operations. I hope the rest will be that easy. Weekly injury report. Multiple casualties under heavy engagement. Attention, civil disobedience that has been reported in hydroponics. Security is investigating. Kinda. It's interesting they're called civil disobedience. Um, which is kind of as connotations of being for a good cause. Colonial Affairs, please Hi. Ten. I'll let you get back to work. <sighs> the anyway, the so-called leadership was very quick to kind of let me have the overriding word. It wasn't even a sort of cost a um, deciding vote, right? Or a tiebreaker. Okay, sending the override command. The stasis pods should start unlocking. You're really doing this? I was at the protest in hydroponics. I thought we'd just get more excuses. But we already lost a year waiting for our families. I'm glad it's time. Uh, well, so you have to make them aware of the consequences. Things will be lean for a while, with the new mouths to feed. But you're out there. We'll manage somehow. My mom was scared something would go wrong and she'd be awake in stasis all that time. She isn't... It doesn't work like that, but I... Just want her out, so I know. Override complete. Stasis revival triggered on the Nexus. For Jasper K, Griffith G, Hilkvist A, Demerchi P, Kozlov S. There. That's her. Why are you still here? Go be the face your mom wakes up to. I will. Thank you. Given new resource allocation, personnel in stasis on the Hyperion may not be required to wait longer. When it's time, you'll have a home to wake up to. I promise. Hey, viability. I'll do uh, skills later. How may I assist? I have a specific person I want brought out of cryo. Name and designation if available. That's it? You'll just do it? Nowhere in my job description does it say, argue with the Pathfinder. That said, I record all interactions. If something you ask for causes trouble, there will be no doubt that you're responsible. Fair enough. I heard that the chief engineer on EOS went back into cryo. There have been a few such requests. The first few months in Helios were disheartening. Now the Prodromos is on track. I want her redeployed. Chief Engineer Grace Lito, designation E-97 Durango. Deployment will begin shortly. Is there anything else, Pathfinder? Why do some colonists have a number letter designation? All initiative members do. In the CV file somewhere, anyway. It isn't relevant when everyone is doing everything. I suppose it's like uh, caring about a middle name. Do you not know yours? I wasn't aware I had one. Hmm. You were in select company, even before you were made Pathfinder. Scott Ryder Pathfinder. Specialist designation, A04 Malapa. Hmm. Something interesting? An A and low odds. Hmm. Someone's an early adopter. I have a specific person I want brought out of cryo. Name and designation if available. Let's keep this between us. Here's the info. Deployment will begin shortly. Is there anything else, Pathfinder? Another time. Pathfinder.
I can click towards, very good. Uh, let's go have a look at their flag and check the journalists and then we will. Dan's office, I thought it was in the hall of Pathfinder. Well, old man, you're getting there. Put in a good word for us. Presented with a flag. Where are we putting it? Uh, anyway, let us go check for... Kerry. Do you have just a minute? Hi. The documentary's going great. Your comments really got people talking. By the way, Tan called us in for a talk about staying on message. Is everything okay? Oh, fine. And much less interesting than what you've been up to. Scientists are excited about your new outpost, though there are questions about how Prodromos can survive where Sites 1 and 2 failed. So one is kind of pessimistic, six is very egotistical, um, so I'm going to go for one. I gave Prodromos the best start a Pathfinder could, but we can't predict everything. We just do our best. Probably not the rah-rah quote Tan would hope for, but very genuine. Facing those risks must be stressful. How do you relax between missions? <laughs> what about you? I can't imagine you putting your camera down for anything. I'm not the one history cares about. I need a minute to think about my answer. And I'd like to know. Back home, I'd go sailing. I love the water. Nowadays, I play ocean sounds, close my eyes, and remember. Okay, your turn. Um. Uh, to relax, I should talk about it. My crew and I take downtime together. We're a team. This is history too, these little moments between. Shots of this remnant tech, some narration, that completes an episode. Thanks for stopping. Anytime. And this is also a good place to stop uh, the episode. Thanks for dropping by and watching, and I hope you'll tune in again next time. So long.